In the world of astronomy, the great spotlight sometimes falls on the famous planets of our solar system. What we quickly forget, however, in the view of the numerous reports about Mars, Saturn, and company, is the fact that the natural satellites of those celestial bodies also exert a great fascination. It is not without reason that the first manned moon landing in 1969 is still considered one of the greatest milestones in the history of space exploration. Today, we would like to take you on a journey to another, no less impressive moon. Our contribution today is dedicated to one of the most famous natural satellites in our planetary network, Jupiter's moon Europa. We will explain to you what characterizes the celestial body, which missions have been carried out to study the moon, and we will also share some breathtaking real images of Europa. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. As always, we wish you lots of fun on our galactic journey. Europa, constant companion of the largest planet in our solar system. Europa joins the long list of Jupiter's moons discovered so far. The celestial body of the Galactic Society enjoys at least 78 further natural satellites of Jupiter. The fixed planet of all these moons is also the largest planet in our solar system. In detail, the equatorial diameter of Jupiter amounts to an incredible 143,000 kilometers. This means that the gas giant exceeds the diameter of the Earth, which is about 12,742 kilometers, by more than 10 times. In the past, NASA has carried out several space missions in the course of which numerous findings about the giant planet and its moons were gained. The unmanned pioneer probes gave mankind the first real photographs of Europa in the early 1970s. However, these were still extremely blurred images on which only a few details of the moon's surface could be made out. A few years later, the Voyager space probes again traveled to the immediate vicinity of Jupiter and supplemented the existing images with much sharper images of the natural satellite. The largest mission to date to investigate Jupiter's moon began in 1995 when the Galileo spacecraft entered Jupiter's atmosphere to study the giant gas planet and its moons over a period of eight years. During the project, which came to an end on schedule in 2003, Galileo took countless photographs that helped scientists to understand the nature and characteristics of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Currently, the Juno spacecraft is in the vicinity of the gas giant, from where it provides the experts on Earth with countless valuable information. Before we dedicate ourselves to some of the most amazing photos of Jupiter's moon, we would first like to give you a brief overview of the natural satellite by addressing the question, what do we know about Europa? The Discovery of the Galilean Moons In terms of its dimensions, Jupiter's satellite hardly differs from our Earth's moon. While the equatorial diameter of the constant companion of our blue home planet is about 3,474 kilometers, Europa is only slightly smaller, with a diameter of about 3,121 kilometers. With its size, Europa is also the sixth largest known moon in our solar system. While Jupiter's satellite and the Earth's moon are similar in size, the celestial bodies differ significantly in terms of their composition. Europa is classified in the ranks of the so-called icy moons. These are natural satellites whose surfaces, as the name of the corresponding category suggests, are largely made of ice. It's therefore not surprising that the thermometer on Europa never exceeds the value of freezing cold, negative 150 degrees Celsius. We humans have known about the existence of the moon of Jupiter for many centuries. It was the famous Italian scholar Galileo Galilei, who first discovered the natural satellite of the gas giant, Jupiter. The universal researcher not only discovered Europa in 1610, but also discovered the moons Callisto, Io, and Ganymede in the same breath, which is why these celestial bodies are still known today as the Galilean moons. 
Like so many other planets and moons in our solar system, Europa was named after a figure from Greek mythology. According to the legend, this is a beautiful king's daughter, who even won the heart of Zeus. In the starry sky, Europa shines so brightly that the moon of Jupiter can even be seen with simple binoculars. The Fascinating Nature of Europa The average distance between Jupiter and Europa is more than 670,000 kilometers. Jupiter's satellite travels around its fixed planet in an almost circular orbit. It takes about three and a half days until Europa has completely orbited Jupiter. During this time, Europa, just like our Earth's moon, always turns one and the same side towards its galactic fixed points. At the poles of the icy moon, however, it is particularly cold. Here, the average temperature is a frosty negative 220 degrees Celsius. With a surface area of 30.6 million square kilometers, the celestial body is about as large as the African continent. Although the surface of the natural satellite is mainly composed of ice, it shimmers strikingly reddish in some places. This coloration is due to the different minerals that have been deposited in the soil of Europa. While the surface of the moon is adorned by comparatively few craters, the outside of the satellite has always been characterized by a complex network of trenches and furrows. The largest of these surface cracks are almost 20 kilometers wide. Experts suspect that the gigantic furrows could have been created as a result of volcanic activity. However, this natural phenomenon, which experts refer to as cryovolcanism, is very different from our earthly volcanic eruptions. While most volcanoes on Earth spew boiling hot lava into the air, cryovolcanoes spew substances such as methane, ammonia, or water into the environment, which ice up into the surface immediately after the eruption. Is there life on the moon of Jupiter? While the outermost layer of the moon is covered by an impenetrable kilometer-thick sheet of ice, space researchers currently assume that a gigantic ocean of liquid water is slumbering in the deeper parts of the surface. However, the actual extent of this water occurrence can currently only be speculated. The thesis about the presence of liquid water on Europa simultaneously fed the speculations about the existence of life on the moon of Jupiter. Although the corresponding life forms on the icy moon would have to face extremely adverse conditions, some life forms have already been discovered on Earth that could survive under similarly extreme conditions. Some researchers, however, bring the fact into the field that the large sulfuric acid occurrence on Europa makes the existence of organisms very improbable. Also, the strong radiations of Jupiter, which regularly meet Europa, would make the development of life clearly more difficult. Now that we have given you a brief overview of the main features of Jupiter's satellite, we would like to conclude by taking a closer look at some official photos of the Moon. Impressive Photos of Europa The official images of Jupiter's Moon are provided by NASA. The impressive photos were taken either by the unmanned space probes that traveled to Europa in the past, or by the current space telescopes of the renowned space agency. In many of the pictures, we can see the characteristic trenches and furrows that decorate the surface of the satellite. A closer look at the photos shows us just how complex and detailed the compound of canyons and cracks truly is. When the Moon Rises Over Jupiter In a picture taken during the New Horizons mission, we see Europa rising up at some distance from its ancestral planet. When the photo was taken, NASA's unmanned space probe was incidentally 2.3 million kilometers from Jupiter and even 3 million kilometers from Europa. However, the photo was taken for purely aesthetic purposes. Because even NASA's renowned scientists seem to have a penchant for beautiful motifs. Breathtaking play of colors on the surface of the Moon Images showing the Moon of Jupiter in all its galactic splendor give us once again a detailed overview of the inimitable surface quality of Europa. The high-resolution photos taken during the Galileo project present us with the incomparable coloration of the natural satellite. In order to optimize the corresponding photos for our human eye, the images have been digitally processed without changing the structural composition of the Moon. On the surface of Europa, 
We can therefore recognize a wide variety of structures, all of which have different coloring. The different colors of the ground are again explained by the material composition of individual areas. For example, those regions where especially pure water ice is found appear bluish to white. However, where ice is present in comparatively small quantities, we see red-colored areas. A detailed insight. While the colorful surface structure of Europa is already extremely fascinating when viewed as a whole, the exuberant richness of detail on the outside of the moon becomes even clearer when we look at some NASA images that illuminate the individual orbits and structures on the surface even more closely. Here we can see not only the white areas of the water ice, but also the reddish regions where large amounts of magnesium sulfate and sulfuric acid are found. Did you like our video about Jupiter's moon Europa? Then show us with a thumbs up. Which picture of the moon impressed you the most? We're already looking forward to reading your opinions, suggestions, and ideas in the comments. Thanks so much for your great interest. Take care and see you next time.